Hello, reformers, and welcome back to Nova Eaters. Now, if you're looking for amazing deals on games, you can check out the link in the description to G2A.com, and you never know what you may find. Some pretty nice discounts, to be sure. Anyway, as you can see here, we have reached the next stage of our kingdom's research already. That was very, very fast, wasn't it? And we are now stage three. So we have a new troop tier, and we have an extra... 5% income. Now, I am here at Zendar because I would very much like to take it, but I have a bad feeling we're probably going to get killed. But there is a vassal over there from us, and oh, oh, we actually did it this time. Oh, okay. So this is going to be pretty difficult because they have 460, but I felt as though Zendar was probably the best way to go because if we take this, then the Merchant Republic of Zendar does not have any other fiefs, and they're probably going to get eliminated almost immediately, so which is good, which is very, very good. So let's see what we can do here. Now, this is going to be a pretty unique siege layout. I'm a little bit worried about that, I've got to say. Ah, oh, well, actually, is it? Is it, a, is it? is it unique? I'm actually unsure about that. It doesn't seem... I, I, it seems to remind me of a castle that we used to siege a while ago. But it is one of the rarer ones that you don't usually see, so let's see what goes down here. I don't even know. I mean, should we just keep our archers outside? Let's just keep our archers outside for now and see if we're able to beat them in terms of DPS, because obviously we do have a lot more damage per second than their crossbowmen. So hopefully we'll just be able to literally just oh pepper them like nothing else. Yes, yes, yes. Let's do it. Okay, so we're getting a couple of our forces next to each other. Oh, I don't really want them that close, thank you very much. A little bit further away. Okay, so yeah, that seems pretty nice, and we're able to very easily just move in already, I think, to the battlements. I mean, is, is this going to be a multi-stage? Maybe it's going to be a multi-stage siege, because if it is, then we definitely need to make sure that we have the longevity to pull through it, but oh well, we're going to find out, I suppose. Oh, these guys. Oh, yes. Oh, these pikemen. These pikemen are very, very tricky when they do their thrusting uh, thrusting attacks, yes. There we are. Okay, so... Yeah, so far... I don't know. Is it is it going well? Is it is it going well? Yeah, it seems to actually be going pretty nicely. Should I, should I charge in my archers? Let's charge in the archers as well. Probably going to need their assistance. Let's use our focus. Yes, there we go. Slaughter to the max. Thank you. Come on, let's try and kill all these crossbowmen as well. We're going to need to if we are going to stand any hope of survival. There we are. Okay, so... Oh, no! There was a Huskar right there and he got headshot or something. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure what happened, but we are now level 39. Oh, yeah. And we do need to start, obviously, well, still level up our craftsmanship skill, but... Yeah, it's a little bit worrying because, obviously, we do need to have a huge amount of agility and we don't really have the points to be able to do that. Okay, so now, where are the enemies spawning in? Ah, over there. Okay, so, oh, 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 I see. They are coming down, or should we say, going up the tower here, and we are going down, so this is gonna be pretty bad, I think. It's gonna take a very long time for us to get through all of these enemies. Can I get down there some other way? I think there is, there is a way for me to do that. Ah, there are some crossbowmen up here. Ah, uh, yes, we definitely need to deal with them. Let's see what we can do. Are they? Ah, yes, they are accessible. Fantastic. I thought we might have some difficulties getting up here, but no. Yes, come on. You must perish before Diggory. Diggory likes doing the dagnabbit on you. Thank you very much. There we are. Okay, so that's a new phrase. The dagnabbit. Yes, obviously. Okay, so I think that's it. So now we can just go all the way down... Yes, okay, so hopefully my people are going to stay alive. Now, I'm going to be using our healing ability here just to make sure everyone's okay. As much as possible, anyway. And, oh no, now I'm getting stuck. Of course I am. Yes, yeah, wonderful. Okay, so this is going to be good. If I can actually do this... Oh, there was actually some stairs here that I could have used a lot easier. Oh, well, never mind. Anyway, yeah, if I can do this, then this will mean that our forces will be able to just absolutely wreck havoc as much as possible in the inner courtyard here, so hopefully I'll be able to do something like that. Oh, yes, if our people would stop falling off and killing themselves. Uh, 
Maybe they're just like, ah, oh, this Diggory, he's a terrible commander. I must end it all right now. Yes, that's usually what it is. But anyway, have, have they have they received new reinforcements? Have they received new reinforcements? I'm actually unsure. Yes, they have. Oh, no. Okay, well, it seems I'm going to be stuck between a rather bad place and a bad place. So let's see if I can... Let's, see, let's actually see if I can get past these. It is working. It is working, amazingly enough. I'm actually unsure why, but it is. Okay. Okay, well, I guess I'll just help from the back then. I mean, Diggory always likes to come in from behind, so I'm pretty sure he's he's happy with this. New enemies are arriving almost all the time. Oh, wow, there's a lot of them actually just falling off the edge here, which is hilarious. Oh, there we go. There's another one. That was a corpse. Oh, there's so many corpses just falling here. Okay, now I need to be careful not to get trapped again, so I'm going to try and just eliminate that one, and then maybe we'll go around here and just slash away a little bit. I don't have the ability to go focus again. Yes, I do. Ah, okay. I thought the cooldown was a little bit longer than that, but obviously we do keep it for a very, very long period of time, so I suppose the cooldown is only about 12 seconds as far as I'm aware, or 13 seconds now, because it lasts for about 47 seconds. And that is amazing, in my opinion. That's absolutely fantastic. To have something like this that is so game-changing last, like, such a long period of time is very, very useful. Okay, there we go. Kill. Kill them all. Kill them all. There we go. Okay, so. Let's see. Are they, are they going to actually be able to come down here? Are our units going to get down here in time? I don't know. Are they? Yes, they are. Some of them are, anyway. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Okay. Yes, I still have focus. Still have focus. Okay, I'm going to try and heal my forces here. We lose our focus. That's fine. We just have to wait 13 seconds for the next activation. I think we're good. I think we are good. Now, that is that is pretty impressive. I mean, yes, I, I kind of thought that I might be able to take Zendar because we fought their vassals before, and their vassals are not very powerful. I mean, we know that. They're not very powerful at all. But this, I mean, this is very telling, isn't it? I mean, the Zendarians apparently do not have the greatest units at all and aren't they aren't they very high up in their technology or or maybe not i think it's probably not because they are one of the additional factions and only the base factions advance in technology so that's good to know as well obviously we already know that but it's always good to sort of ascertain the power level of your opponents because you, we don't have a scouter do we haha <laughs> yeah the references okay so if we can actually tell our people to come up I want to unleash a fearsome cry yes let's get our people out of here come on guys yes get out yeah there we go there we go that's what I like to see oh yes and now this is oh this is just gonna be an absolute massacre for them because they literally cannot do anything and I am now free to do as I please and that is of course meaning to run around and slice people in the head because that's what we do okay so let's not get shot in the face shall we We've lost our focus, but that's okay. Everyone is fine. And this is pretty much a done deal, I think. I do think, though, that I passed by the liege of the Zendarians very, very close by to where Zendar was. And I was just like, oh, don't notice me. Don't notice me. Maybe I have a little bit more spotting skill than he does. I'm not entirely sure. But he did not see us and did not attempt to run after us. So there it is. A victory at one of the largest towns that we've ever taken. 40 renown, 34 morale, and we do have to deal with the... Uh, we do have to deal with the people in the streets, which is kind of annoying, but we do have veteran archers, of course. I cannot even imagine what it would be like if you had actually good archers, because obviously our archers right now, they're, they're pretty decent. You know, they're not bad, but they're not as good as, you know, for example, the Vagiers or maybe even the Saranids. But, yeah, I mean, we have technically the worst archers, as far as I'm aware, because the Nords usually do have the worst archers. But, yeah, it would be amazing to see an entire army full of Vagia custom troops. I mean, that would be... Whoa. I wouldn't even want to be in that battle, because it would just be so devastating to the opponent. Uh, but, that's the thing, it depends. If you're, if you're on that person's side, then I suppose, then you're fine. Anyway, there's another 40 renown for us. Wow, we're just boosting our renown like nothing else here. And here we are in the wonderful, wonderful keep. And we're hopefully going to 
Yes. Zendar Swordsman, not as good as I thought they would be. But anyway. There we are, very nice. Okay, thank you very much. Who's that? Dagnabia Veteran? Yes. <laughs> yes. His name could be Who's That? Yes. Anyway, there's another 40 renown. And we have Freed Murigi. Apparently Murigi was being a lazy slacker and decided to get himself taken prisoner. We have gained some honor. Oh, and apparently we're also freeing this fellow. I didn't even see that these guys were in there because the garrison was so large. Okay, well, anyway. Oh, okay. That's great. So we freed both of them, and now we have the opportunity to take many Dagnabia units and rescue them, which is fantastic. So, hmm. Let's take some veteran archers, shall we? But to do that, we're going to need to release some heavy infantry. So, let's do that. There we go. And, uh, there doesn't seem to be anything else I can do here. So, that seems fine. Now, who are we going to give it to? This is a town. So, uh, it might be good for us to take it. I don't know. I'm going to a defer appointment of a lord right now because I don't really want to deal with it. And, of course, we can... Wow. Dagnabia Varangian Guards? They're apparently the new troop tree things. Okay. Well, I have not seen those before, so we're going to take one just to take a look at the stats. I think that would be kind of nice anyway, so let's have a look. Okay, so they have, yeah, obviously four in Iron Flash and one in Power Strike due to our technology level. They have really, really good shield skill. As you can see, they have four shields. So they would be our defensive units, I suppose. Now, what do they have? They don't even have a shield. Do I have a shield to give them? I would have thought that I would have had a shield to give them. Maybe a spare one, but yeah, I do not. Oh, I do. I do. I didn't see it there. There we go. Okay, so they're going to be using that now. And they have a glaive as well. Okay, well, that's, that's I guess, perfectly fine. Yes, just pay whatever you can. There we go. Yes, there we go. That's absolutely fine. Okay, so now they're going to be using a shield, hopefully. Yes, they are. There we are. Very nice. Okay. So, is there anything else I can do here? Well, I can manage some property, but I already have things here. I, I don't think I can get any more. And I guess... Sh shall we take some of these? Or shall we just... Oh, we have Dagnabia Billman as well. Well, that's nice. Oh, that is actually very nice. Okay, so... Yeah, I'm going to take another Veteran Archer there, and I think that will be fine. Can I do anything else here? Not really. There's a Die Works here, so I could put some of my dies in here, but I don't really need to. And is there anything in the Tavern? Ransom Broker, Watchman, Cannoneer. Okay, so do we have any Velvet here? That is the main question. There are no bolts of Velvet, unfortunately, but I am going to be selling some of this... What? Exquisite Silver is 20,000? I... I, I don't even know. I don't even know what to say to that. That's insane. Okay. Yes. Well, yes. I, I guess I'll just say yes to that. Thank you. Thank you for that. Okay. Now, that's that's amazing. I don't think I can even repay this guy for the 20000 So, I guess I'm just going to sell that, and then that's going to be it. And he's now bankrupt, basically. So, oh, no, no, never mind. The armor merchant has a huge amount, so I suppose we're going to... Sell the rest to him. Fine silver, 2,000 exquisite silver, everyone. Wow, that's that's pretty amazing. Okay, and there's a mask to sell and some steel. Uh, do I show? I, I'm going to keep the steel, actually, because that could be used for blacksmithing. And I'll sell the cannon as well. There we go. Okay, is that it? Is that all? Yeah, that is all. I could have given this to the Varangian guards, but I thought to myself, oh, maybe I don't really want to use them that much, so do bear that in mind. And there's some gold as well. There we are. Okay, so that's great. That is really nice. Very, very good. Okay, so we have taken Zendar, amazingly enough. Now, do the Zendarians own anything else? Something tells me no. So, we are within a really, really good chance of actually eliminating another faction already. And this guy is going to come up here and he's going to besiege it. Isn't he? Yes, there he is. Okay, so that is the leader, of course, of the Merchant Republic of Zendar. And I suppose he is going to be attempting to... Wait, is he, is he still there? Yes, he is still there. Well, that's... 
Ah, uh, that's a little bit unfortunate, isn't it? Well, I suppose what we can do is maybe try and call for a campaign so that we can actually get some of our vassals here. But the thing with that is that they're going to be awful. They're going to be absolutely awful because they are very, very low. They have not very large armies. And this guy has about 430 units helping him in total. And we have 100 and Obviously, 166 now for some reason. Not entirely sure why we lost one, but anyway, there we are. And I guess that will mean a little bit of a cliffhanger here. So I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.